Welcome to Modern Church Leader, a short daily show to help you grow your church, be more effective and efficient, and powerful for the kingdom of God. Why are leadership teams so important for church growth? So this is something I'm extremely passionate about. And I know from a long, many, many years of experience that when you're a church planter, when you're a church builder, you can't do it alone. We kind of know this innately. We, we kind of sense that we can't do that. But so often, past, I see pastors running around. They're trying to do everything themselves to the point where they're exhausted. And you're really robbing people who have all these incredible gifts from actually using their gift to serve God and by definition, build the church. So one of the things that as a church leader, we've got to understand and get from the very beginning is delegation is power. The ability to identify, coach, train, release tasks and responsibilities to people in church life is absolutely critical to growth. Now, not everybody that you choose is maybe going to do it to the expert level that you want. But I say this, I would rather 80% of something than 100% of nothing. So I might be really good at playing the guitar and I can get up there and I can play that guitar and I'm going to be awesome at it. But you know what? It's going to be a one-man show if I play the guitar and preach and take the offering and the whole thing. I might have someone else who can play the guitar pretty good and maybe they're 80% as good as I can do. But you know what? That's better than me trying to do everything. Now I've allowed them to use their gift. I've allowed them to train and get better and get excited about using their gift for God, making sure that you have this whole concept and mindset is I'm always training the next generation. What you want to do in a great environment, in a great work environment, you're not afraid to train people up to do your job better than you. Because a great boss will see that person that is able to train others and elevate them and just elevate you automatically. And that's what it's like in church life. If you're involved in anything in church, you want to train someone else up to do that and maybe they get better than you. Great. All that does is broaden the load, allow us to be able to shoulder this burden collectively and continue to maybe do the thing that you're supposed to do and not do the things that you're not supposed to do. So delegation, delegation is absolutely key. Coach, coach, coach. You've always got to be training and coaching. You want to have that mindset as a pastor where you're, you're using life lessons, you're using the pulpit, you're using small groups, leadership meetings. You're constantly coaching people. And the idea for leaders is that we don't see people as they are. We see people as they can become. So when you look at some and it's like, well, because the world looks at them and says, you know, this is their talent level. This is all they're going to be. This is their socioeconomic background. This is their education level. This is the family they came from. This is the side of the tracks that they were raised and they put limits on them. Ministry is about getting rid of the, getting rid of the limits that sometimes people put on themselves. Sometimes the world puts on them. The church is the place that lifts those limits, lifts the barriers. And sometimes you, you spend 12 or 18 months coaching a person into believing in themselves. But that's the power of Christian ministry. We don't see people. Jesus doesn't see us where we are today. He sees us forgiven, blood washed, elevated, seated at the right hand with him. Jesus has a vision for people's lives. Well, as pastors, we need to have that same mindset. And when you start thinking every day about seeing people as they could become, it changes your outlook on me. Sure, you can have some letdowns. I think we've all coached people and we've all pastored people that have let us down. It's okay. I've let people down. Everybody lets people down. But don't let that stop you from being that minister that believes in people, that believes the best in people, practically coaches them along the way, making sure you're giving them the tools and the accountability to rise up to that next level, that next standard. And what you'll find is you will have an unlimited supply of team members and leadership that are going to help your church grow. Leadership really does make the difference when it comes to elevating, raising people up, letting them loose on what God has gifted them and called them to do. That equals church growth. 
Thanks for listening. Please review Modern Church Leader on Apple Podcasts and visit our website for more resources at tithe.ly or follow the links in the show notes.